So this will be the continuation of the <coughs> measures of position for group data, um, specifically for deciles. Okay. In my previous video, I have already given to you or discussed to you the 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 process on how to to find the the quartile of a particular group distribution. So we'll be finding also a decile, particular decile in in that particular group um, distribution. And of course, when we are finding a decile value in a group data or in a group distribution, we will be using this formula. And the formula is given by, as you can see, parehas lang doon sa formula ng median, halos parehas sila, okay, doon sa formula ng median and formula ng quartile natin. Ang nag-iiba dito is the value of the denominator on that kn over 10. Okay? Doon sa quartile, that was kn over 4. Doon sa, doon sa median, that is n over 2. Okay? Since we are now in the decile and our focus is to divide the distribution or that given group distribution into 10 equal portion or 10 equal parts, so we are dividing it by 10. So, dun lang nag -iiba. and And the process of finding those variables in that formula, these variables on, on that particular formula for decile, um, ganun pa rin, yung, yung way natin. Yung, yung process natin in, 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 identify, in identifying these values of these variables. Okay? So, in the formula for the decile for group data, it is given by a small letter L, which refers to the lower class boundary of the, the decile class, okay? Um, plus the quantity KN over 10 minus less than cumulative frequency value over the F or the frequency of the, the decile class multiplied by a small letter I. <coughs> okay? So, for, for that K, take note, on, on that, um, as, as shown in the, the presentation, K will now be equal to, or the possible values of your K will now be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 9, since there are 9 deciles in a distribution. Okay? And these 9 deciles are the divisions of these 10 equal portions of, of that particular group distribution. Unlike doon sa quartile, there are only 3. Okay? 1, 2, and 3. Quartile 1, quartile 2, and quartile 3. So, ngayon naman dito sa decile, there, there, there will now be 9 possible values of your K. That would depend on your target. Okay? If you are looking for decile 9, or if you are looking, yeah, if you are looking for decile 9, then the value of your K will be 9. If you are looking for decile 5, then the value of your K will be equal to 5. So, ganun lang yon. So, this will be the possible values of your K. And N will still be the total number of frequency. A small letter, um, uh, less than CF, this will be... Yung less than CF natin, this will be the cumulative frequency of the class below the, the decile class. Okay? So, alam nyo na yung process. Kapag na, 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 alam nyo yung process in, in getting the value of this less than CF in the, in the quartile discussion, in the discussion of the quartile, ganun din yung, yung process dito in, in finding the less than CF value. Okay? Then, yung frequency of the decile class, this will be the, the corresponding frequency of that particular um, interval which is our decile class okay then l is the lower class boundary pa rin, and yung i is the the class size of your your distribution and this will now be an example in 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 in, in finding the decile of a group distribution okay utilizing the formula so our first step or step for you to be able to apply the formula is for you to be um, to identify the, the, the position of that um, decile that you are finding and it is given by um, k multiplied by n over 10 if, let's say for example you are finding the position of your decile 1 or decile 3 uh, uh, we will now be using the example um, say, for example, you are finding the, the, the position of your decile 3. 
So we will use the formula Kn over 10. Changing the value of your K to be 3 and to be 127 and divide it by 10. Okay? So if you simplify 3 times 127 over 10, that will give you 38.1. So don't mislead. I am presenting... Um, the, 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 the computation on the upper right portion of this presentation. Alright? So, 3 times 127 over 10 and that will give you a value of 38.1. This 38.1 will now be the location or will now be our basis to, to choose for the decile class with respect to decile 3. Okay? With respect to your decile 3. So, therefore... Itong 38.1 is part of the 39. In the less than CF, it is part of that 39. Kasi we know that 39 in that less than CF is composed of the 27th percentile or 27th position up to the 39th position. Okay? Yun yung coverage ni 39 less than CF. Yun yung coverage ni less than or ni less than cumulative frequency which is 39. I repeat, the coverage is 20 from 27th position up to 29th position. So, yung computed value ng KN over 10 is 38. So, nandun sa kanya. Nandun kay 39 um, less than CF. Kaya naman ngayon, we will now be choosing the corresponding interval of that less than CF39 as our, as our um, decile class. So therefore, the corresponding interval is, 100, is from 160 up to 179. And that will now be our decile class for that decile 3. Okay? Yan na yung tatawagin nating decile class for decile 3. Okay? Or in short, that will be the possible location of your decile 3. So, ganon. Okay? Now, so, alam na natin yung value ng Kn over 10. How about the value of your less than CF in the formula? The value of your less than CF um, can be identified by simply picking up the lower the lower less than CF lower than lower than 39 less than CF okay it is the lower than 39 less than less than CF and that will now be 26 okay please um, observe the encircled value on that less than CF siya na yung magiging value ng ating less than CF kasi based from the definition of less than CF in the formula it is the less than CF lower than the the class inter the 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 the, the ano ba yun? yung decile class okay it is lower than the decile class and that is the 26 less than cf and this will now be the value of your um less than cf okay how about the frequency of the decile class the frequency of the decile class is the corresponding frequency of the decile class okay and that is 13 okay you can identify it basing from the frequencies kung saan nag-correspond or saan yung kung asan si si decile class yung corresponding frequency niya will be the value of your f sub dk or frequency of the decile class and the lower class boundary will now be the lower class boundary of the decile class so, ang, ang interval natin in the decile class is from 160 to 179. So, therefore, ang kanyang lower class boundary is 159.5. And that will now be the value of your L in the formula. And yung I natin, very easy to identify kasi nandun na sa baba ng ating interval. And that is 20. So, we will change the value of your I to be equal to 20. Now, um, changing the variables in the formula, we will come up with 159.5 plus the quantity 3 times 127 over 10 minus 26 all over 13, okay, multiplied by 20. Simplifying further, we will come up with, okay, we will come up with um, 159.5 
plus 12 or plus the quantity 12.1 over 13 multiplied by 20. Okay, then we will have 159.5 plus 0 0.9307692 multiplied by 20. Then we will come up with the value of your D3 or your third decile or decile 3 to be equal to 178.12. And that will now be the value of your decile 3, 178.12, which is located in the chosen um, decile class from 160 to 179. Okay, so nandun siya sa loob ni 160 to 179. So, data tipang ibaisan yun, that toy, DJ, third decile, dito yung distribution. So, ganun yun, people. Okay, so I hope you understand well about this discussion. So, we will proceed now to the next, and that is all about percentile for group data. Okay, so... In the quartile, we will be having four possible or three possible values of your K. In your decile, we'll be having nine possible possible values of your K. For this percentile for group data, we will be having 99 possible values of your K. Same formula, okay? Ang mag-iiba lang dyan is the value of your denominator, yung constant value natin in the denominator in the numerator part, okay? And that is 100. For decile, kung natayo, it will be 4. For, or, sorry, 10. For percentile, we are dividing the distribution into 100 um, parts. 100 equal parts. So, ang magdi-divide sa kanila ay itong mga de, um, percentiles natin na 99. Okay? Itong mga 99 percentiles natin. So, we are dividing it by 100. So, ganun pa rin yung, yung setting natin as per the variable is concerned. Okay? So, ang mag-iba lang is we are now in the percentile. So, say for example, we want to find out. We want to find out the, pers the, the ninth percentile of this given distribution. Okay? Yung ninth percentile daw ang concentration natin. So, how is this? So, we need to find first the percentile class na tinatawag. So, for you to identify the percentile class, we again concentrate to the KN over 100. So, we need to find out the value of your KN mult or over 100 for you to, uh, to be able to identify the quartile class. And the value of your uh, KN over 100 will now be equal to 11.43, which can be seen on the upper right portion of this presentation. Okay? It is given by 11.43. Okay? So, if, if that will be the case, titignan mo ngayon doon sa less than CF, saan siya involved? Asan si 11.43 on that less than CF in the table? So, take note that si 11.43 bil ay belong kay 14. Okay? 14 less than CF. Kasi si 14 less than CF, ang nasa kanya ay si 5th position up to 14th position. I repeat, bakit 14? Kasi ang nasa kay 14 less than CF ay si 5th position up to 14th position. Okay? Which is the location of your 11.43. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung magiging basis natin for you to identify now the percentile class and that is 120 to 139. So, this will now be our percentile class. Ang ibig sabihin nun, si 9th percentile, ang location ni 9th percentile will be from 120 to 139. Okay? And, of course, yung ating <coughs> frequency of the percentile class will be equal to 10. And yung lower class boundary ng ating percentile class, which is from 120 to 139, will be 119.5. Okay? And yung less than CF natin will be taken below this 14, the, the, list, the, the less than CF below this 14, and that is equal to 4. So, yun yung magiging value ng ating less than CF. And, of course, yung I natin, don't forget to multiply with I, and that is still be 20. 
Okay? So, using now the formula and changing now the variables in the formula, we will come up with 119.5 plus the quantity 9 multiplied by 127 over 100 minus 4 all over 10 multiplied by 20. Alright? So, simplifying further, we will come up with 119.5 plus 14.86 and that will now be equal to 134.36 and this will now be the value of your percentile 9 or the 9th percentile of this given distribution all right so that is 134.36 i hope you got it so it can be seen from 120 interval up to 139 so nandun siya sa loob ni 120 to 139 interval. I hope you got it correctly. Okay? So, if there are questions, please pose it in the comment part of the, the lecture. Okay? So, for your assignment, for, to, for this lecture, I want you, I want you to find out the following, the Q3, the D1, D3, D6, D8, percentile 4, percentile 23, percentile 75 and percentile 80 of this given distribution okay given distribution so um you can submit it you can submit it um th th that uh, um, next saturday or maybe um is the, the is the our next meeting after our health break okay our mental health break so please submit it the um anytime next week after after the health break okay the, the mental health break so i hope um you can now understand you can now follow as to how to get the the positions of our given distribution for group data and thank you again for watching to my video and may god bless you all